I guess that you have been applying for different jobs, but you haven't landed any job interviews or you haven't landed enough job interviews that you should. Do you know that the possibility of getting job interviews is decided by three crucial facts, but 99% of job seekers don't know any of them. Hi everyone, I'm Thea from hjob.com.au, helping skilled migrants and international graduates get jobs and live a better life. In today's video, I'm going to share with you three crucial facts that explain why you haven't landed any job interviews. And I will point out to you where you should focus in order to get results. <music> Now, the first fact is incredible, and I'm sure that you haven't heard about it before, but it plays an important role in helping you land a job offer. So let's dive in. This is an insider secret that I can count on only one hand, the number of job seekers who can realize this fact. So I'm sure that you already know that there are hundreds of job seekers applying for one job. But finally, there's only one person who will land the job offer, right? But one fact that you don't know yet is the person who gets the job offer is not the most knowledgeable, is not the most experienced or with the best technical skills. They are the one who sells themselves the most effectively. Why? I have talked to many job seekers who are really talented, but I only realized that after talking to them. So it's not reflected on their resume. They just look average on the resume. So if your resume cannot present yourself the most effectively, if it cannot reflect who you really are, or it cannot show off your amazing results, your skills and experience, then hiring managers cannot see it. They cannot see that you are really talented, that you are actually qualified for the job, and you won't get a job. Make sense? Or these talented job seekers have been removed even before reaching the hiring managers because their resume cannot pass the ATS. So I'm sure that you know the ATS will remove 90% of applicants. So if these talented job seekers don't know how to write a resume that can pass the ATS, then they will be removed even before reaching the hiring manager's hands. I know, I know that I shouldn't talk about bad news like being removed by the ATS or being not impressive to hiring managers. That's why I want to talk about good news. So the good news is you don't need to have more than 10 years of experience. You don't need to have the best technical skills like being updated with the software or the latest technologies in order to get a job. But you need to make sure that your resume can pass the ATS and your resume can impress the hiring managers in order to get a job for you. Don't judge a book by its cover. We all know that idiom, but in reality, people still judge the book by its cover, especially in the job search. More specifically, hiring managers still judge you by your resume. But before judging the hiring managers, I think it's fair for them to do so. Why? The first reason and is also the fact that I want to share with you. Your resume is the only and the first document that hiring managers receive from you. So two things about it, the only and the first. So your resume is the only document that hiring managers receive from you. You may also send the cover letter, but if you know how to write the cover letter correctly, then it's more about employer. It's not about you. So your resume is the only document 
that hiring managers receive from you and it has all the information about you that they can get. And the second thing, your resume is the first document that hiring managers receive from you. So it will build the first impression about you to hiring managers. And that first impression will decide the feeling that they have about you. So if they feel strongly about you, they will invite you to the interview. But if it's not impressive, then they just ignore you. Now, the second reason is there are hundreds of candidates applying for the same job as you and hiring managers cannot interview all of them. They don't have enough time. That's why they have to choose. And how can they choose? They would choose based on the resume because that is the only document that they receive from you, right? So these are the facts that you cannot change. You cannot stop all the people applying for the same job as you or you cannot get in front of hiring managers and present yourself to them face to face. So there's a fact that you can change. That is your resume. So make sure that you write an ACE resume that gets hiring managers hooked, forces them to spend more time on your resume, read it more carefully, impress them and trigger them to invite you to an interview. Remember, you don't have a chance to talk to hiring managers yet. That's why you can talk to hiring managers via your resume. So make sure that you make your resume work hard for you. Make sure that your resume present your best self to hiring managers. Can you believe it that your resume decides whether you will get a job or not? Some people think that the reason they cannot get a job offer is because of their interview skills, especially when they can get some interviews. But let me tell you a story. I've got a client and this client got a very strong application so he could learn about sick interviews. But after sick interviews with sick companies, he couldn't land any job offer. So after that, I work with him and I improved not only his interview skills, but also created a brand new application. And two weeks only after working with me, he got a job offer. It's amazing, right? Now, let me explain further why your resume decides whether you can get a job or not. Your resume decides how much you understand yourself, your strengths, weaknesses, your skills, knowledge, experience, etc. If you cannot understand, you will not present yourself effectively on the resume and you won't get interviews. And if you are lucky and get some interviews at a time, you cannot convince the hiring managers because in order to convince you need to understand yourself first. If you cannot understand, you cannot convince anyone else, including yourself. So you cannot convince even yourself. If you feel something not right about this application, if you feel not confident with this job, or you don't believe that you will get a job, it shows that you cannot convince yourself yet. And have you ever tried to convince anyone else when at the same time you don't get the matter by yourself first? You will feel that it's so hard for you to convince anyone else when you don't understand the matter by yourself first, right? So you can see that your resume decides whether you will land the interviews and whether you will succeed in the interviews. Now I have pointed out to you where you should put the focus at the right place in the application process in order to get a job and that is your resume. So what do you think about these facts? Let me know in the comments below whether you think they make sense or not. 
From this video, you have seen that your resume plays a crucial role in getting a job for you. But writing a resume that can land numerous interviews and finally the job offers is not easy. So if you need more help on writing each detail part of your resume, then you're in for a treat because I'm hosting a free masterclass on resume writing, three simple steps to get interviews. I will walk you through step by step on how to write the resume that can land numerous interviews and finally the job offers in only six seconds. And this is a strategy that helped me land my six-figure salary full-time job in only two weeks. And it also helped to land for many of my clients their full-time job with a five-figure to six-figure salary in a matter of weeks. So make sure that you don't miss out. The link to join is sjob.com.au slash sresume and I will also put uh, in the first comment of this video. If you have been revising your resume over and over again but you still don't receive any interviews or you don't receive enough interviews like you should, then you need stronger strategies. If you realize that you need one-on-one -on -one working with me, then feel free to reach out. Head over to my website at hjob.com.au slash one-on-one. Check the secret job securing system and all the testimonials on that page. Book a call with me from the calendar and I will share with you the customized action plan that I will design based on your challenges, your strengths, weaknesses and to make sure that the job will be yours. Now in this video, I have shared with you three facts that decide whether you will get a job or not. But when you can overcome these facts and start writing your resume, you will make a lot of mistakes. So if you are interested in knowing what are the top mistakes that I should avoid, then I want you to hit that notification bell because in the next video, I'm going to talk about top resume mistakes that you should avoid at all costs. And I'm sure that you will find out you're making a lot of mistakes from the list. So make sure that you hit that notification bell to stay tuned for that video. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this video or let me know any topic that you want me to talk about. Thank you so much for watching the full video and I can't wait to see you in the next one.